So this is your last call. We're going to be looking at 801 Eververse and Zer in that order. And we're just going to be looking at what they are offering for this week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, Vitrified Duality. I actually really like this shader. I think the purple is really cool. And the gold and silver is also really cool. And the dark blue is also really cool. We have New Pacific Rush. This is a new shader considering I didn't have this. So like the other worn sets, this is going to be New Pacific Rush, but the worn look, which means that the edges are going to have like this worn look, hence the fucking name. And yeah, just a bunch of things like that. We have Dead Orbit Resurrection. I definitely would recommend this shader just because I know it looks weird on some pieces, but when it comes to plate armor, it has a very cool, like old look. And I, that's why I really like this shader. And then for the armor sets, I'll have them up right now. Pick up whatever you want to pick up. Other than that, I'm not really going to talk too much about this just because I have talked about this armor set before. As for Eververse, we're going to be looking at Rustberry. I like this shader quite a bit. The only thing, and I talked about this with the same armor set in the uh, in the weekly video, the challenges video, which that's where you, you'll usually see the Eververse and pretty much almost everything except for Zer. But for this one, I think everything but the white is really good. So if you find an armor set that looks really good with this, try to find another armor set that looks good with it. Because like, for example, the arms are really terrible right now because of the white underneath. But if I find something else, then it looks really, really cool. Um, we have Raven Silk, which I like this armor or the shader quite a bit specifically for this right here. I think that's super, super dope. Uh, specifically the, the armor plating. I think it's so dope. We have uh, Dark Blade Effects, which is pretty cool. I definitely think they should have... Oh, they, this technically did come out in a Hive theme event or season, technically. Season of Menagerie. We have Tyrant's Vision, which I'm going to be honest, I don't really care about too much for this. It looks cool, but at the same time, I just... Like, why? I don't care. We have Feast of Feelings, which I don't even remember when I picked this up. And then we have Al Hadade or Hal, yeah, whatever. Pretty cool. I just don't know if I want a Dreaming City inspired weapon like this. I, how much is it again? That fuck it. Why not? We have Out of Dodge which looks pretty cool. And then Skiff Scribble Shell. And then VR Exploration. And then Samba Dance. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Cabal Shield Breaker. Fallen Arrival. And then Hive Arrival. For the shaders, Empirical Imperative is the next one. I like the shader quite a bit because when you combine it with pure plate armor, it looks really cool. Just be aware that the yellow and like the off-white is the thing you're going to be battling unless you want to lean into it. But for me, I would definitely not want to have these two colors there. We have Boreal Char which is a really good green. I definitely would recommend this green. It's just the only thing that's really unfortunate is the off color being the off white is really just terrible. We have a uh, bio loom, which a blue and green. I'm not the biggest fan of usually. And then grayscale undergrowth, which I actually think this shader is really cool. Um, yeah, this, that's pretty much it. I would definitely find an armor set that doesn't have the white though. Other than that, I think it looks pretty cool. As for Zer, he's in the Winding Cove on the EDZ. He's currently selling the Dead Orbit armor set. I would say you could skip this out just because a lot of pieces don't change color. If you do want this armor set on one of your classes, just, just go to Devrim K. He has the armor set that you're looking for. It's literally this armor, but everything changes color. And I definitely would recommend that one over this one, unless you want to rep Dead Orbit. I, I honestly don't really think this armor is worth it, especially like a lot of the year one Armor sets is not worth it for the faction stuff just because it's a shittier version than the armor set that you can get from planet. So that's really it. For the weapons, we're going to be looking at Lonesome with Rapid Hit and Opening Shot. And Range Finder and Small Bore. Hmm. Hmm.
Obviously, this would be for PvP, but I love Lonesome. Lonesome is one of my favorite hand or uh, sidearms in the game. But I don't know if I would love it for this. Like, I don't know. It's hard to say. We have Farewell with Moving Target and Thresh. We have Extraordinary Rendition with Firmly Planted and Multi Kill Clip. Iclos, uh Shotgun with Subsistence and Trench Barrel. We have Brigand's Law with Threat Detector and Volt Shot. Sail Spy Pitch Glass with Outlaw and Vorpal. And then Recurrent Impact with Genesis and Focus Fury. So all of these four weapons are red border weapons. So if you are interested, definitely pick them up. Uh, if you were to ask me like which ones are the best, I would honestly say Brigand's Law. And that's it. Honestly, Brigand's Law would probably be the one I'm like, you need. Brigand's Law is definitely really good because obviously it rolls with Volt Shot and it's, it is really fun. Um, Yeah, that's the only one I would say that is truly like I would recommend. For the exotics, we have Hawk Moon with opening shot. And then for the other exotic stuff, we have Telesto, better than all the resto. We have Aeon Swift. We have Ursa Furiosa with 24 resilience. That's pretty nasty. Astrocyte Verse with 23 resilience, which is pretty good. And Aeon Swift with uh, 19 mobility, which is pretty interesting. Um, Yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I am definitely like Aeon <laughs> Swift. That's funny as fuck. Um, eh, whatever. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I am technically working on videos. I say technically because it, I'm working on content for my second channel, not my first one. But we still have to make the individual armor sets for the the, uh, the seasonal armor. I already have them done. I just need to make the voiceover, which I'll probably do tomorrow. But after that, we're probably getting started on the exotic videos that people have been asking for. Yeah, honestly, uh, I've just been doing other stuff for my other channel just because uh, Destiny 2 A has been getting hit with DDoS, DDoSs. And I just honestly have not really been vibing with Destiny 2, like me playing it. So I am currently working on the Crota raid, specifically getting all the armor pieces for that as well. The Warlock only need, actually, let's find out because I actually don't even know myself. So I know I got a new piece for my Warlock because I just did the raid not too long ago. It was really terrible. So I just need one piece for the Warlock, which is super dope. I think Hunters need two more pieces, I think. One more piece for my Hunter, wow. And then two more pieces for my Titan. So I am almost there. We're going to do the review, then the shaders, then the individual pieces. So be looking out for that. Other than that, honestly, guys, if you guys are interested in like any other thing, just let me know. I definitely would get started on it if it aligns with my content but yeah we're gonna you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more things you guys are gonna be seeing some shorts where it includes some other stuff specifically final fantasy 14 i'm gonna start doing that at least i'm gonna start it with shorts and see if it does well and honestly yeah just uh gonna be doing a lot of content so i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later